Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about plastic pollution. Are you ready? Let's begin! Imagine you have a delicious candy bar for a snack. After you eat your snack, what do you do with a plastic wrap? If you throw it away in the trash, that plastic can end up in a landfill. But sometimes people might litter. And that plastic could end up in rivers, lakes, or even the ocean. That's where the problem begins, and it's what we call plastic pollution. Plastic pollution happens when plastic items like bags, bottles, and packaging end up in places where they shouldn't be, like in the environment. Those plastics don't break down easily, and they can stay in the environment for a very long time, sometimes hundreds of years. Now let's think about all the plastic items we use every day. Water bottles, food containers, toys, and so on. If everyone doesn't dispose of these items properly, it can add up to a lot of plastic pollution. This pollution can harm animals and plants, and it can even affect us humans. For example, animals in the oceans might mistake plastic for food and eat it. This can make them sick or even cause them to die. Also, as plastic breaks down into tiny pieces called microplastics, it can end up in the water we drink and the food we eat, which is not good for our health. To recap, plastic pollution is when plastic items are not disposed of or recycled correctly. It's important for all of us to be aware of how we use and dispose of plastic so that we can help reduce plastic pollution and keep our planet healthy. Now here are fun facts about plastic pollution. Enormous amounts. Every year, the world produces around 359 million tons of plastic, and a significant portion of it ends up as plastic pollution. Long-lasting impact Most plastic takes hundreds of years to break down completely. This means that every piece of plastic ever made still exists in some form today. Microplastics everywhere Tiny particles called microplastics are found not just in oceans but also in the air we breathe. They come from the breakdown of larger plastics. Straws add up. Straws might seem small, but they contribute significantly to plastic pollution. In the United States alone, it's estimated that around 500 million straws are used every day. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about plastic pollution today. Take care now, bye bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!